To be world match play champion could be could be life changing for for Mensur, for Gary. Like I said, it, it's a triple crown. There's a lot of meaning to this match. And the battle commence. Best of 35 legs. John Park, Phil Taylor, and Rod Studd in commentary. Thanks very much, Dave. Yeah, good evening. Now, since 1994, when the World Match Play started, 149 players have come to Blackpool to try and win this great championship, and only seven have succeeded. Larry Butler, Phil Taylor, Peter Everson, Rod Harrington, Colin Lloyd, James Wade, and Michael Van Gerwen. And tonight, seven will become eight. And the name added will be Mensah Sulevich or Gary Anderson. Alongside me, two men who between them have won this championship 16 times. 45. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Looking forward to this, Phil. It really is a great clash of styles, isn't it? And it, it the, is. the battle for Anderson will be as much mental as physical, won't it? Tonight? Oh, I think you're going to get a few issues during this game. I think if you keep the camera on Gary's eyes in a bit, you'll see Gary glaring at him by about the fourth or fifth leg. But the one thing, Gary, I would do if I was Gary is get on Mensa straight away because he's a bit, a little bit of a slow starter. But he, be, he becomes a better player towards the end. Yeah, the odd thing about uh, Gary and his glares, Phil, sometimes he's glaring at himself. He gets really mad at himself, doesn't he? And he's just fuming, I think, and he's just staring at something, but he's thinking about himself. Oh, yeah, especially when you start losing. Just adjusting his glasses a little bit. 100, getting a crowd 146. An early chance for the Scot. Stayed there, looking for the lie, to use the lie to lead double 13. But in, in any regard, he's back for a two data, unless... Now, treble 20. Treble 11 or big 11. Double 14, he's favourite. Oh, oh he missed seven. the easy one, Phil. Oh, no, it's the biggest one, you miss it. Nerves of the final, perhaps. Tops. Double 10. 36. Mensing the ball 14. Oh, double 7. And just like the double 14, he's one of the best at this because it is left occasionally. He's more used to aiming at it than most players. Nervous. Almost timid for his first two. Going to 20. Bit like a boxing match at the minute, Rob. Feel, feeling each other out a little bit, eh? 18. Yeah, it's not this turn Gary was looking for in sorting out his doubles for the final, is it? Oh, and he's left double one as well if he gets a shot. So three for double two now for Mensa. It was a fun start if you were Mensa Sulevic because eventually he won the leg and he's got a few maggots of doubt gnawing away at Gary Anderson. Particularly the double top and the double ten, which are Anderson's go to doubles. And if he starts missing them, as he has done during the tournament, that's going to be a little bit of a, a seed of doubt. 125. You can already see the anger from that coming in and firing up his scoring a bit. Really snapped those treble 20s in on the first visit. A little more relaxed on that throw, but the same result. Yeah, it's early doors, yeah. It's only one leg in. And only hold a throw, Phil, as well, so yeah. no real dramas, I suppose. It's looking like one each on this one. Yeah, just the fact he, he deliberately <laughs> mentioned how the doubles he has to fix that, and he starts off making a mess of it. Well, that's the way you've got to play, Gary, at the 180s at the right time, and that was a perfect 180. So he'll be looking now for another 180 to leave double eight. That was a little unlucky. The third one should have got in. Just looking to see what Mensa's on. I don't think he'll go for the ball. Oh, he has. That did surprise me there, John. Well, he hasn't had any joy on the outer ring, has he? So he thought maybe a bull would be easier. And Mensa certainly has a tall order in this, but he's making it easier. Double 18. Pulled it a Gary little fraction. <laughs> About an inch and a half. Double four. 
Game show the second leg. Well, that will be a relief. It was his seventh attempt at double in the match. Gary Anderson missing six off the reel at the start of the game at the double. Just to hit the first one will make him feel a lot better as Sulevic, the second straight leg, missed a double for a three-figure out shot. And I'm not sure if Mentzer realizes it, but he's playing with quite a bit of pace, almost well, Gary's pace at this moment. I don't think he's sticking to his game plan. Not at the minute. A little nervous, maybe. He'll have to talk to himself. Yeah, that's a good point. We were trawling through the, the data. 2-0 on the maximum count. That's a turn-up for the book. If ever there was one. And uh, the length of legs, Anderson's legs before this match were oh, going at 1 minute 41 a leg and Sulevic is 2 minutes 36. And Sulevic will be much happier if they carry on at 2 minutes 36 tonight, won't he? Because that's his pace, not Gary Anderson's. Well, it seems to be that this is suiting Mensa more than Gary at the minute. <laughs> it is. So treble 15. Maybe Gary's confused. <laughs> <laughs> well... Mensa is very, very good at the mind games, I think. He's, he's good 180, and he's 47, so big, big pressure now on Mensa. Maybe go 18 for double 14. Double 14. He's the third leg. is back in front. In the final, which is... Rolling along at a much quicker pace than I think we anticipated. But it has derailed Sulevic. A lot quicker. Yeah, it's funny that Metzer didn't acknowledge that Gary had put him under pressure by uh, tapping the heart after he hit the double. He didn't acknowledge any kind well, of pressure there. 14. I think he's just tried to psych Gary out at the beginning, John. Just feel each other at the minute. 16. He's certainly succeeded in making Gary Anderson lose the plot in 2015 in their first ever meeting here in the match play in the last 16 when Sulevic won 13-9 and Gary Anderson was 81. reduced to a seething Scotsman. He was furious, just couldn't cope with Sulevic's pace at all. 140. Good 140 there, puts him back in the lead by at least, well, nearly 40 points, 39 points. Average is much the same at the minute, Rod. Still, I, I think it's surprising One that Mincer has the higher average. Of course, we can explain that away with the missed doubles. But they've each had six darts missed at doubles, so maybe that doesn't explain away anything. 140. Mincer Carl, 140. This is for what you'd call a proper lead with a break of throw. Can only leave the finish now, so treble 20 to leave double top. 60, then you can't 101. Big nine or big one, double top. I'll tell you, that single one, it really kind of kicked over and in the way, uh, in the lane path of the effort at tops. So. Treble 20 for double 10, double 10 now for Nicolek. Oh, I don't know why it, good marker though. 17. Yeah, he's not pleased with that. Just throwing a bit uh, too fast there, I think. Too fast. Done well with that, to be fair, after the first dart. Just lay a little off before he put it up and over. Level the match at two apiece. This game is going to turn into a cracker. And it's only going to get better. Good start, good start. Great reply, great reply. Gary knows now to put him under pressure, try and nick this one, 3-2. His daughter, second set. Or second session, I should say. Yeah, I think the next session, Metzer might be considerably slower if he thinks about things during the break. He's on for it. Oh, he's on for it. Come on, Gazza. And me and Wayne Mardell said there wouldn't be a nine darty. <laughs> what does that Wayne Mardell know anyway? Well, it was early in, uh, in the match the last time he got it. I think the fourth leg, was it? Yes. This could be the fifth. That was the quarter-final against Joe Cullen as the crowd go into a frenzy. Oh. Cannot repeat the feat. 
See, Phil, you're too knowledgeable. 65. Too knowledgeable. <laughs> You've ruined it for everyone, Phil. I won't tell you what my <laughs> teacher said to me when I was 15. <laughs> 25. One Bullseye. Adam, 30, getting a plus 76. 76. Travel 20 for double eight. <laughs> On the wire. Brilliant goal. Doesn't die long for Gary Anderson, Anderson, which is the first break and throw in the World Match Play final. And that could be significant because in that first session, Anderson missed nine darts at double, but it made no difference. A near nine dart attempt, and the Scotsman leads 3 2. Missed darts at double in there, which made it even longer. The scoring phase was very, very quick, wasn't it? Well, if Metz had finished, I think he could have been, well, easy, easy 3-2 up anyway. So, 96. But I think Metz is going to slow down a little bit here. A lot slower. Yeah, you can see it already. It's not so much the address, it's just the time between darts. But it's hard to slow down when you're finding that treble 20 so well, and you, do, you don't want to wreck that, do you? No, you don't, and I think Mensa's playing absolutely lovely. Oh, another 180 there off Gary. Good second dart. 140. Ah, good darts, good darts, Mensa. Just keeping the pressure on Gary. Gary's throw. 100. Another 140 now, Ron. Would be handy, wouldn't it? To leave 81 after nine. Early on in the piece here, but Sulevich averaging 104.65. Has not had a ton plus average so far this week. He's been on his staple diet of mid 90s averages. And holds the best for this year's match play. That was in that semi against Isvan, 106.06. Good thinking off Gaddy there, 94. Went for the treble 19, obviously, but 90 is a better, better throw. So treble 17 for Bullseye. 87, Gaddy required 90. And he's gone for the ball, which is always a risky strategy. Still a chance, treble 14 for tops. 42, Mensa require 34. Treble 17 for Mensa for break one back again. Which way do you go on 90? Treble 20 for double 15? Treble 20, yeah. double 15. Because you're used to treble 20s now. Six. James Shaw on the six leg. Mensa Sullivan. He's at it again on double 14. Oh, look at them eyes then. The eye of the tiger there. The immediate break back after the break. And I noticed he went back to 16. setting up the double 14 to fix it towards it after a bit of some of the fiasco he had in the semi final. Have you noticed Spencer's walk back's a little bit slower now? He's making Gary just wait that little fraction. 100. Maybe it works, maybe it won't. Yeah, he's a little slower addressing the Aki, but and leaving it. Friends of yours were there, there in the crowd. <laughs> Cost me twenty quid. That did. <laughs> One of the sporting events to be at the final of the World Match Play Darts Championship as Anderson hits a fourth maximum in the seventh leg. Brilliant darts, absolute brilliant darts. The bet is over 14 and a half, 180s, and Gary, I'll probably do that in the first 15 legs. 114. Good reply. Yeah, he really needed that last dart to go in, though, to leave a finish. Because with the way Gary's going, 221, he'll go in six easily. 100. Will Mensa go for the ball again? Maybe 60 20 bullseye? There's the treble. There's the single. And there's the bullseye. Oh, so a lot of attempts at 1 2 1 so far. Treble 17 for Bull. 97. Mensa requires 71. This will hurt Gary if Mensa gets this. Treble 13 for double 16. 
double 16. Oh, straight in the middle. Perfect. Well, the last leg, he won on double 14. And that leg, he hit the double. In 14. Back in front. Validated his break of throw by holding his. Just barely, though. Close contest, every leg. Well, Mets is putting the pressure on him, John. And the only thing you can do with Gary, hope, hope that he misses a few doubles because you ain't going to outscore him. Just put him under pressure and hope that he doesn't hit that double top like he can. Double 19. Oh, he hit the back of the dart. Now he knows how Peter Wright felt now. Except he had to bend over to get it. Well, if you're going to make a mistake, that's the best way to treat it, Gary. Bango 140. And... Good last start. Maybe set this up now. Double 18 and single 18. 56. So 68 left. Mensah, it's a good shot yeah, now. Yeah, two trebles here, and it just makes that 68 look a lot more tricky than it will do. Now one it starts to look interesting, because Anderson may only get one at double here. Will only get one at double. Tops. And he finished in the end when the pressure got turned up on Anderson. Four each. Great last start. He didn't put any thought into that, and... Just executed it so well as he does, and uh, it looks simple in the end. 100. Gary's just walking a bit further back on the hockey there. He's a 180. No. Nope. Wrong again. Next best thing, though. 100%. What? Oh. Do. Maybe now we can see a different nine dark game. Yeah. 144. He's done. He's done the standard. How many variations have you hit, Phil? 125. Three, I think. I think, I don't know. <laughs> That's great when someone can ask you that. Go on, does it? Oh, 140. Maybe should have gone downstairs at last start. Looked a bit of a bad lie, that one. Could have left the 147. You better 147, didn't you? I think it was up against Painter in the Premier League, was it? The 147? Did I? Yeah, I think so. 135. Uh, he didn't look too pleased, Kevin, that's why I remember. <laughs> he never does, though, Kevin. He could be winning, he doesn't look pleased. He could be and he Mexico still doesn't look pleased. Now he's all right, Kev. Very tough man to yes, beat. Yes, he's good. One. one for one on offer again. Doesn't go. Went for the 25, Kevin all the bullseye 94. there. 84, treble 20 for double 12. Double 12. Double 6 for Nick the Leg. Good dart. Great concentration of both players here. Nobody's trying to wind each other up yet. I was expecting Mensah to just to wind you up a little bit. Well, I think Mensah believes in himself and his game. And maybe he didn't like all the critics he had before when he beat Anderson here and, and said he only won because he put him off and, and, and such. And he wants to win this title as cleanly as he possibly can. Good dart. Let's see if Menson has a shot for a nine dart, Rod. And these are the games when you're going to get a nine darter, when you've got to do just to win the leg. So maybe Spencer will have a little shot here. Oh, on the wire. 100. A little level pegging, 2-2-1 two, two, apiece. An average is 107, Anderson plays 105, Sulevic. Brilliant final. 60. Open the door for Mensah there. 
Yeah, you would hope the final is the best match of the lot, and so far this is. To leave 41. Wow. To leave 81. Daniel Carl is 61. Eighty-one left. Triple nineteen. Sixty-two Mansi left. So Mansip maybe go triple fifteen for double eighteen. Double eighteen for bounce back. Oh, brilliant! It was brilliant. It was an eleven down break and throw for Mensa Silovic, and the temperature gets turned up in the Winter Gardens. It's hot, hot, hot. Mentzer, he really was being threatened to be in a bit of trouble, and he found a way to break, One to level it back at five before that break. And from here out, we're probably going to see a lot of breaks, Rod, because they're just right at each other's throat, 16. leg after leg after leg. And in that second five leg session, only one dart at double was missed. In the first five legs. 137. 17 were missed. Yeah, truly was kind of a settling in, wasn't it? I mean, if, just the biggest of 96. occasions. Just about. This is incredible scoring from Mensah Sulevic. He's averaging 107.55. He's never had a three-figure average in the match play. And now he's taking it higher. <laughs> Good grief, 109, Monsieur. 140, Monsieur for 44. Only Taylor Van Gerwen and Lewis have ever averaged more on this stage. They said he can't score. Double 16. Game and in a dozen darts, the Manchester Austrian edges in front at 6-5. Yeah, and I'm sure he's relieved to hold his throw once again. And that's sort of the standard is such in the mid hundreds there that you you really do have to throw 12 to hold your throw or else there's a likelihood your opponent will. Well, Sulevich's doubling improves depending on which dart 16. he's using in this championship. It's quite interesting. First dart 36%, second dart in hand 42.5%, third dart in hand 45. Anyone who saves his best doubling stance for the last dart in hand is going to be a very difficult opponent to beat. Anderson just 36 across the board. Those last dart in hand doubles, John, so crucial. Well, yeah, it just shows the extra focus, and you're going to probably find that more with the, the focus type players that they will get better as, as the turn proceeds, as dart by dart. Whereas a rhythm type player will probably be more consistent, such as Gary. The ones that trust in their arm will just have that consistent level of striking at target. Could be a problem here. Well, that's salvaged the turn, but there still could be a problem here for Gary Anderson if Suic can knock in a couple of big trebles. We could see a two leg lead in this final for the first time. It's never been more than. One leg in it up to press. 105, Gary Aguard, 96. 96 apiece. Double 18 for tops. Oh, I thought he could still find the trouble. 88, Benjamin Aguard, 96. And there's no better feeling to take out the finish your opponent just missed. That leaves double 14. Oh, and if he could have had a double offered to him on a plate anywhere around that board, it would have been that one. Madhouse. Not a sad house. Six apiece. One chance at double 14 for Mencia. Comes and goes. Still would have been early on in the final, John, but you sense it could have been a significant break for Mencia. It really would have asked the question of Anderson. Well, it just doesn't have any feel like it's someone, there's going to be any separation at all. And whether, 
get the two or three legs even. It is just that doesn't seem likely. It just seems like they'll be the one away from each other. And if someone breaks, the other will break back. You were involved. That's how we want it, though. Yes, well, you were involved in one of those finals, John. One of the closest has ever been played. You'll recall it in 2002 when it threatened to go into extra legs, but ultimately you were beaten 18 16 by Phil Taylor. And then there was those two finals that our friend and colleague Rod Harrington were involved in in 98 and 99 when Rod won both 19 17 against Ronnie Baxter and Peter Manley. So the only finals to be the two leg minimum. Of course, nowadays there's always the potential of a one leg minimum. It has to go all the way. 133. Is it 20 each or something? Both nice outs to, to hit. Oh, yes, 11s. Well, he's not going to be too happy there. Could have hit anywhere in the 11s, barring the double, and left the double or bowl. 89, got the very first leg. He did hit the treble 11 and missed the double 14 for a 1 2 1. Can Anderson break? Treble 19 for Bull. Sulevic back for 32 to regain the lead again as this seesaw struggle continues by the seaside here in Blackpool. And she leads again. 13 dark leg. The Austrian producing one of his finest ever performances on the big stage. Any stage. Anderson cans a fifth maximum to level the count at five apiece. Well, drop something, has to get it. Ah, Gary found it. Of course, he'll help it out to try and speed things along. He drops his dart, he repairs his darts, One, two, still puts three. a 14th ton 40 on the board. One of the best finals ever in the match plays history. And as if to emphasize the point, Mencia Silovic hits a sixth maximum. 96. Taking his average to heights that we've only rarely seen before on this stage. Well, if this continues, it'll have to be one of the best finals in any darts tournament, yeah? 16, Gary require 88. To level again. Bull. 63. A 1 2 1. Carl, has one. reared its head again. Well, they won't miss the 11s because he has to go 17s and he gets that. Now he needs a bull. 96. One for double 12 or nine double eight. Nine double eight is, is double four. 17. Anderson misses twice. Sulevich will get two. A double ten. Double five. Well, it was an eyebrow raising choice of double by Mencher. As Anderson busts his score, that was something that Sulevich did three times consecutively last night, hitting the wrong double. Well, that was pretty eyebrow raising in itself. <laughs> More conventionally for double eight now. Uh, just didn't get close enough with the first one to comfortably just follow in. Crazy, crazy, crazy dance with chances coming and chances going. In the end, Anderson 
Scrambles home on double two. He's been in double one tonight as well. Seven each now. 59. I've got it figured out, Rod. In the odd numbered sessions, they can't hit double. Anderson has missed nine in this mini session, and Sulevich has missed seven. Ninety-nine. So that's a couple of chances we've seen in recent legs for Mensa Sulevich to open up clear daylight between himself and his Scottish adversary. Who will have the lead? at the break here, after the 15th leg. One. Slowing down even more, I feel, at this point. He knows he has a good position in the leg, too, and he's, he's trying to make sure of it. 100. A good third dart. Very big. Because it gives insurance against a big score from Anderson. 118. Double 19. Yeah, the first three-figure outshot of this final. And what a final so far. And for the sixth time, Mensa Silovic takes the lead by a single leg against the red-hot favourite, Gary Anderson. Game on. Enjoy the biggest win of his darting career. Or will Gary Anderson fight back from a leg adrift? 89. He's been at a leg adrift six times. Bookmakers believe that it's more than likely that he will. 100 to 30 on Gary Anderson. 5 to 2 against the Austrian. Change the odds. Cut the odds. Talking of odds. Vincent Sulevich was around 4 to 1 to have the most maximums in this match. You'd have been laughed at if you said you were backing him to have most maximums against Mr. Maximum. He's had seven to Anderson's five. 60. John Part has departed. 55. He's remiss of me not to re reintroduce you, Wayne, wasn't it? Wayne Marnell's here. What have you made of it, Wayne? Have you ever seen the like? Seems similar. It's very, very high standard as we as we thought, but Mensur. He's not going anywhere, is he? We knew he was going to be a, a difficult character, but I think most of us thought it was going to be a slightly more slower affair 83, on his part. But he's kept the game flowing. We talk often about the lesser spotted double 17. Here's the Commonwealth Garden 1 2 1. He's been left virtually every leg. He's not been hit yet, though. 62. Gary Carr 134. Top stops. Magnificent. Oh, 114. That was unlucky. 59. Hit the previous dart and went low. It wasn't a bad dart at all from Gary. Mencia, notorious for not liking Game tops. He loves it now. Mencia you like it now, Mencia, don't you? 9 7. Sulevich, first time in the final. There are two legs between the players. This would be an incredible story, it really would. Mencia, at about six all, started playing slightly better than Gary. They were both averaging 104, 105 at that point. Gary's just dropped a little in the last four or five legs. Worrying times and moments for him. Mentioned earlier, Mensah Sulevich's win in the 2015 match play against Gary 96. Anderson. 
in the five TV meetings they've had. Sulevic has won three, two at the Champions League of Darts in 2017 in the group, a 10-3 hiding, and then an 11-9 win in the final. Anderson has since won at the Grand Slam of Darts, quarter-final 16-12, and in the Premier League, 7-5. Well, let's get it right. Mensah Silovic has made Whoa! Anderson sweat many, many times. And he's making him sweat tonight. Even that maximum does not make Anderson favourite for this leg. The way he's playing here, Rod, it would, would panic anyone, wouldn't it? Oh, go on then, Gary! Bullseye! That is four times in this match play that Gary Anderson has missed the big fish on the bullseye. We could have done with it taking the bait there because now double 14 and now double seven for three legs in front. 20. He, knows, he knows that was a massive opportunity. Will he get another one? He will get That's another one. 23% on the doubles, Gary. He if. talked early in the week, didn't he, Wayne, about the problems on double top and double ten. I think that was after the Cullen game. It was. Oh, now pressure. Now pressure on double two. Ten score. Gary Lucas, 16. He won't miss again, will he? He's shown his 17th leg. 10-7 is 9-8. In fairness to Anderson, he missed the ball for the 170, didn't he? And then it all kind of unraveled from there, but he managed to get it back together. Yeah, he got away with that. Gary dodged a bullet. Well, he dodged a few. And that's Whoa, how you punish. Your opponent misses doubles, you step in, get it, and then... You thwack in a 180, that's how you punish them. Oh, no! That's how you respond to being punished! 15 maximums, this is the 18th leg. Hello? Oh, Mencia! It's Mencia! Going to produce a moment of magic at the well, match play. Trouble 15 for Mencia. Oh, so, so, so <laughs> close. Look at his face. The disappointment. The disappointment. But hold, hold on. on. Wait, man. What happened? Gary's not happy 82, about something. I'm not sure if Mencia just moved or I think it might be the the integrity of the stage. Uh, maybe it couldn't hold Mencia's frame. He's a big lad. Well, a couple of darts ago, he was looking for a nine dart leg. And now, he cannot go out in a dozen darts. Well, the last two legs, Mencia has absolutely thrown them away. Gary's punished him again. Really should be. Four legs clear, but he's not. Gary Anderson in the past has let opponents off. But Mencia is doing it right now. Did it? So it's certainly Mensah Silovic didn't do anything there. I don't know. Maybe Gary just lost his footing slightly. I'm not well, sure. I didn't see anything like there. Wayne, did you? No, I, I didn't. But maybe just a, a maybe a creak of the floor or something. Nothing to worry about. It's clever. Well, Mensah, without a doubt has been playing better than 
Gary for the last five or six legs, but he's not made it tell. The doubles he's been missing, incredible. 136. Between them, they've missed 47 darts at double, but it's not detracted from the entertainment. In fact, if anything, it's enhanced it. Yes. Yeah, it has. Darting drama. 16 maximums in the match, 34 ton 40s. 140, Power scoring continues. Another there. That leaves the bull with the single. 105. I think this is a really important shot for Mencia. He's got to start putting doubles away. Otherwise, it just festers and you become more and more annoyed and irate that you're giving legs and, and the match away. Double ten. He just hasn't been able to finish in the last three legs. He's had chances in all three. They've come. And they've gone. And so is his lead. Because Anderson now hits the front at 10 9. And Gary Anderson hasn't been in the, lead, in the lead since he led 5 4. He's only been in the lead three times in the match by a leg. So he's been on the back foot for most of it. Is this where he makes his move? 137. To win at darts at this level, you need to take your opportunities. Mencia Sulevic isn't right now. But Gary Anderson is always there. He's cleaning up. is to Mencia. Seven to Gary. Well, he said, well, turn up for the book. To level the match. Treble 19. Would have left the ball. 59. Seems the 1-2-1 one, one has been left every other leg. Is this the time when it gets hit? It might well be. It will be if he hits double 14. 107. Mention of class 68. A number of combination finishes that have been derailed by the last dart mounting up. Double four. Oh, wow. You can tell he's panicking on doubles. This is so 66. important. Can that is the fifth 14. leg running. But Mensa has had darts at the double six leg running. Game show the 20th 11 Gary legs Anderson. to nine for Gary Anderson. He pinched, pinched most of those, but he won't care. You've got to hit doubles to win dark matches. That is absolute fact. He will be feeling a lot better. Just seven more legs to win the match play crown for the very, very first time. We knew it was going to be, or we thought it was going to be, a difficult game for Gary. But we were saying about doubles and maybe Mensu wouldn't be able to stick with him scoring, but it's not worked out that way. Mensu's scoring has been superb. It's been, at times, better than Gary's, but the doubles recently are troubling Mensu massively, Rod. Yeah, Mensu Sulevic has outscored Gary Anderson. Hold the back page. But since going 9-7 up, the Austrian has missed, by my reckoning, 10 consecutive darts at double over the next four legs, all of which have been pocketed by Anderson. Who now is a firm favourite to trouser the £115,000 first prize. 
and the 45 grand bonus for the nine dart leg, which Sulevic threatened himself. He got seven darts there tonight. He did. Went for treble 15 and hit a treble 10. Brilliant from Gary. But it may, that 145 may mean nothing. Double 16. At last, he stops the rot. I think it was important for him as well to just get it done first start. Just mentioning the prize money in the very first World Match Play Championship, won by the American Larry Butler. The bald eagle trousered. £10,000 and a total prize fund of £41,450. How times change. Yeah, and just a mention of Larry Butler, he had a pretty serious heart attack a couple of weeks ago. He's on the road to recovery. Great to hear. Well, Mincer went out in 11 the previous leg. Gary's on for it now. Well, that's kind of what this game's been about, 59, isn't it? Magnificent, brilliant standard. The one pointer, tops. 21. Mincer, you require 167. 60. Oh, 57. The anger, the anger in his face for 12-10, double 10. Game shown the 22nd leg, Gary Anderson. 23rd leg is Mensa to throw the first. Game on. Forcing that one in, forcing it. One hundred. One hundred. One hundred. <laughs> so animated. Maximum for Gary Anderson. Still one fewer than Sulevich, but looking to go three legs clear of his opponent now. One hundred and forty. One hundred. Mansukar 161. Well, he won 7 in the last leg. Get the 60, missed the 57. Needs the 60 now. You just feel that Gary's going to get a shot at 60. Maybe a Gary double on the outer ring or the bullseye. You just feel that. They're hardly missing. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I felt it. Just elaborate on the thought that you were <laughs> articulating, Wayne. Wow. Well, you made Mansukar a real mess of that, but tidied it up. Well, on the law of averages, you'd fancy 1-2-1 one, one to go at some point tonight. It's been left that often, but yeah. it hasn't. On the 101 go. Treble 15. 55, going with bar 40. It's really all going wrong for Mencio Sulevich right now. He was 9-7 up. He's a six of the last seven legs. Well, Tops had been a problem for Gary Anderson prior to that dart. He'd only hit it once in six attempts. Two from seven now. But he knows where the treble 20 is, doesn't he? Decimus Maximus apiece. Three in quick succession for Anderson. Oh, just forget that. 11-10 now to Sulevic. There were 28 in the final between Phil Taylor and Adrian Lewis in that blockbuster 2013. That 11th 180 is the most 180s Mencia Sulevic is ever hit in a professional darts match. He's hit. He 
good time to record it, but will it be enough to get back into this game against Gary Anderson? The flying Scotsman going full steam ahead. Next destination, Trophy Town. Anderson needs five more legs. Not getting a shot again off 1 2 1. But that 45 from Mensa off 1 8 1 was an absolute disaster. Even 85 would have been a real help, but this is difficult. And it's getting to desperation stakes now. It's all going wrong. And the doubling has caused it, not the scoring. For 14 10, Gary Anderson is making a dash, a dash for the line. Gary Anderson making a mid-match move at the match play. He was 9-7 down at one point. He's won seven out of eight legs as Suovic carries on firing. A dozen maximums. And this match really has turned everything on its head. In terms of the scoring, it's Sulovic bossing the match and Anderson doing enough on the doubles. Yeah when it was supposed to be the other way around. Yes. Yeah, we all had theories about what was going to happen, how it was going to be won. There you see, the scoring from Mentor has been better. The doubling has been worse. Gary's oh, hasn't been God. great. He's missed 31 darts at double himself. Yeah, but in the legs where both players have had a chance at double, Anderson has won the majority. It, it's timing. It's all it is. And the 1-2-1 one, one won't go again. The pesky 1-2-1. One, one. He leaves tops. Well, if Sulevich loses this leg, the 25th from here, I think the towel could come in. Game shot the 25th leg. Bang in the middle. That really was an important leg for Mencia to win. He's still in the game. Gary Anderson leads 14-11. Needs four more legs to be crowned match play champ. Mencia seven. Or will it go extra time? Mencia leads on the 180s. 12 to 10. How many punters out there had backed the gentle for that battle? Anderson trying to win the World Match Play Whoa, Championship man. for the first time at his 10th attempt. The previous nine, he hadn't managed to get beyond the semi-finals. 134. But having beaten Stephen Bunting, Raymond Van Barneveld, Joe Cullen and Geoffrey Desvan, if he can convert this 14-11 lead into a victory. 16 title will be his we are sometimes told that the world of top echelon darts is a young man's game well Mencia Sulovic the youngest opponent he's had youngest youngest in this match play is Gary Anderson at 47 it's incredible Steve Beaton, 54, Ian White, 47 as well. Peter Wright is also 47. Darren Webster, 50. He's beating all the old-timers. But is this one, is this 47-year-old going to get away from him? Double four. That's what he wants. A nice, quick, clean kill. 15-11. As Anderson... Rounds the final bend and can see the winning line 16. coming into sight. I think Gary's looking more assured now on doubles in the last few legs than he has done in the whole match.
100. Three more legs. Mencia scoring. It's been amazing. Outrageous for him. It's hard for every aspect of the game to be working on any one day. As Gary hits his 11th. To 16, 11. 20 for tops. 58. Got to go. Got to go. Yes, to go five behind. At this stage, huge task to get back from there. 15 or treble. Bull. Oh, Mencia, magical Mencia. Mencia Surovic, 28 for his carry to third third. Him on. One dart in hand. At the little red pippin. With his opponent waiting on double top to go five clear. Make a note of that. 16. Oh, chance. Slaps in a big one here. Oh, that's unlucky. Come off the flight. Ninety-six. Real chance to inflict a, a break on Gary Anderson. Sixteen. Um, Gary Anderson, he won't mind me saying, has been around the darting block long enough to know that this three-leg lead, even though he lost the last leg, is more than enough to be nursed home. The two times former world champion, the double winner of the Premier League. 114. He would be surprised if he started to show frailty. But anything is possible in the heat of the match play final. 138. When Sir can do, is it his 27th 140? I know Gary misses and he takes out tops. Careful, Mencia, careful. <laughs> now that's being careful. He was, wasn't he? Didn't want to bust that. Oh, but Anderson with two at double eight, one at double four. Is that the faintest sign of a wobble? Two at double to go four clear. Anderson. That's not a real smile, that's just a watery imitation. Yeah. Being shown the 28th play. Game on. Game on now. Two behind. Monsieur has the darts. Wow. 16. How many of you? Watching at home when Gary was 15 oh, 11 up, giving it oh, he's, he's home now. He'll win this, no props. Mencia, Mencia a buckle, he doesn't buckle. Fifty-eight. He's buckled. <laughs> The standard so high, the pressure so high, and the state so high that any visit without a treble liable to be catastrophic. Sulovic does not come up dry this time. All that time. Or again! A 13th maximum, unlucky for Anderson. 
134. As Wayne said earlier, Mensah Silovic has never hit as many maximums in a darts match. It's a treble. Wow. Talk about overcooked it. 97. Quality that. Two, Carl, well, he hasn't been within one leg since it was 11 10 to Anderson. Needed the treble 20. So now he's hoping against hope. Will Anderson get a dart at double? He will now. Tops. Brilliant. That really is world class. None of the darts look like missing. Mitsa Sulevic thought he had just about done enough to close within one. Gary Anderson had other ideas, and that double top was the best of them. Yeah. 96. That's Gary Anderson's first ton plus finish. What a finish, what a time. Champions do things, do special things at the most opportune times, and that really was looking like it was going to go 15 14. Was that the kind of special thing you do at the right time as a champion, Wayne? Was that what you were talking about? Yes, it was absolutely majestic from Gary as he hoists the half century of maximums in the tournament. It's 12 for the match. 59. This leg here, if Anderson holds, he'll move to the cusp of victory. Has, has Mensur reached that point where he's thinking, I'm in trouble here. I need to not miss ever, ever again in this match. He looks dejected, he really does. Oh, that's unlucky. Well, that's unlucky. Highly improbable. But this is what happens around the bullseye area. There's more wire there than anywhere on the board, basically. Yes, and a, and another match. In another tournament, on another stage, Anderson would have laughed then. He's not laughing now. No laughing matter. 38. Oh, he, he looks rattled by the double bounce out. In a, in a world final, Gary had three fallouts. Now he's had two in a match play. Wants double 16, Mensur. Well, if he can get away with this leg, Gary, I think it's kind of just. He was in control, double 10. Gary Anderson is one leg away from being the world match play champion. Two darts on the floor, has the composure, has the ability to take out that 77 under pressure. Absolutely brilliant from the Scotsman. Mensah Sulevic averaging 104 and on the brink of losing. An average three points greater than Anderson. The last player to lose a world match play final with the higher average of the two players was Wayne Mardle. <laughs> against Phil Taylor. Well, there you go. 2003, and it's only 96. happened one other time too, when uh, Manley lost to Harrington in 99. That's how rare it is. 140. Brilliant leg from Mensah. Under the circumstances, Gary should switch. Under the circumstances, to leave 81 after nine, when all you can probably feel is, I'm going to lose this. Bullseye! A second bullseye skin saver in the last five legs.
A 71 and an 81 on the ball for Sulevic. 17-14. He needs to win three on the trot, Mencia. Oh, wow. wow. Can he, can he break here? For 15. Then hold for 16. Oh, my. Mencia Sulevic is tight. It's oh. Gary's son, Rachel, his partner, and Chaley, their daughter. One out of yes. Gary's life. Anderson Jr. looks a little more relaxed than Anderson Sr., doesn't he? <laughs> One out of fourteen. Oh, that third dart, even something straight, would have left 1-2-1. One, He's got to think about this. Well, 43. That is a mess. For a break of throw and 17 15. Looking for a 20 to leave 36. And he was faced with the prospect of having to win four straight legs at 13 17. Mensah Sulevic. He's won one. one. He's now won two. He now has to win two consecutive legs to send this into overtime. But only the third time in the history of the World Match Play Championship. We haven't seen that kind of thing since 1999. Well, I'll tell you what, if Mensur does win, he'll be partying like it's 1999. <laughs> to save the match. Mensu has had a 12 data and a 13 data under the most extreme pressure. 114. What a match this is. Averaging 105.01. 44. Mensu Sulevic, and he needs the leg to not lose the match. that one two one again will it go this time to put Anderson in the position of having to hold throw to win the world match play title it, it's what you dream of double 18 103. Gary Anderson knows he knows that he will be starting the next leg and he knows if he wins it he is the champion He's expecting to start it next turn. Now what? I've got to say, I think Mensur will be pleased. Is it a nine with that dart and not the next when you can be too protective? Yes. But now the double four's under pressure. He might carry on there and try and leave two, <laughs> as you did once, Wayne. <laughs> but not at this stage of a World Match Play final. Yes, Mencia! Yes, it, it was troublesome in that leg, but he got there. Now then, it all comes down to this leg. Brilliant. Absolutely magnificent. As a professional darts player, you're throwing first, you're trying to hit a 180, if not 140. Make your opponent feel the bed. Well, before this match, Anderson had won legs on throw in 15 darts or fewer almost half the time in the tournament, 47%. That is what he's looking for here. He's looking to get out in 15 darts. Mincer has broke Gary's throw five times. If he doesn't break it for the sixth time, that's it. That'll be all she wrote. 58. Oh, my. Oh, my! Well, you want a dart in drama. You're getting it in spades here. Well, which dart recesses of his darting talent is Mensah Sulevic pulling this from? He was four adrift. Now he can level. Treble 17.
The match will be level if Sulevic hits the ball. Mencia Sulevic. Mencia Sulevic was 17 14 down. It's now 17 apiece. Time and time and time again tonight. 85. 1 2 1 has been left. It had not been hit until that 34th leg. And at the time most, most important. Sulevic for the third One time in the match hit the ball to win a leg. This is the most unlikeliest turnaround. 16. Two legs has to be the margin, remember. It's not an 18 17 situation. And a must win by two clear legs. 170. The composure that Mincio Sulevic has showed in the last four legs, One five legs. Wow. For the lead. For the lead. Mincio Sulevic is now one leg away from being the match play champion himself. This is extraordinary. Absolutely. One of the most drama ridden ends to any major you could wish to see. Twice the match play has gone 16. into extra time to be won. 1917 on both occasions by Rod Harrington at the end of the last century. 134. Sulevic now has won five consecutive legs with his back right up against the wall. 16. The last thing he wanted to do here was have a leg off. He just started 60 60. But Gary just keeps wading in. It goes 20 all, they'll play one leg. Yeah. 99, and Susunovic would have the throw. Yeah. Ninety-four. Brilliant setup from Gary Anderson. Mincio has not kept Gary close Gary order, so the pressure on this did not tell. That is eighteen legs all. So both players have had a chance to hold throw four the title and both have not succeeded and now this match play final is the longest that has ever been seen on the Winter Garden stage. Well the match play final is clearly a marathon not 16. a sprint but now is the time for a sprint finish from one of these two players. And Anderson knows that. There's the kick. 140, 180. At a time like this. Mincia Sulevic has just had six starts without a treble. And Gary Anderson has only missed one dart at the treble in the last six starts. That's the difference. Both players have played their best darts on the brink of defeat. 123, Gary 46. He's accidentally left double 18. That was a dart at single six for tops. 
It won't it matter now. 12 dart, break a throw, Anderson. Anderson leads, 1918. Anderson throw for the title again. For the third time, in fact. Quite incredible. The last time he was throwing for the match with the darts, he hit a 140. 114. What a reply. Well, how they're playing like this under this pressure. It's just improbable. It's brilliant. Oh, no, surely. Oh, Metsu Sulevic oh, counters Anderson's ton 40 with a max. 100. Well, we've been saying all week that these players are not robots. I'll take that back. Oh. On the 34th leg, Mensah Sulevic saved the match and sent it into overtime with a 1-2-1. Gary Anderson has got the ball to win it. Oh, no! Oh, no! That was it! That has hit the wire. That has hit the inside wire of the bullseye. Gary Anderson has been so unlucky. So unlucky. Mensah Sulevic has been Mensa so Sulevich. good. That is absolutely Good unbelievable what just happened there. Look at this. The, it's caught Get enough on. of the wire to take the momentum out of the dart, so it did not penetrate enough to stick in. So unlucky. Well, there can't be a player that's come closer to winning what the match play that? without doing so than that. He's an angry Anderson, but he's got to channel that anger and aggression. And that is channeling it par excellence. Have you ever, ever seen the like? Oh, my word. Someone will lose this match. But whoever wins, my word, they deserve it. To play this well over this long, under this pressure, kudos. In the quarterfinals, Anderson had to go to extra time and survive two match darts against Joe Cullen before well, getting home 1917. He's had to go longer. 96. It's a good leave. 130 is a good leave. Of course, he may not get a shot. 60. It's silent in here. The, the crowd, are, they're absolutely enthralled. At least 59. Oh, it's too well to find the treble 20, but there but he has done. The ball this time. 105. But can you imagine what was going through his head as he's going for the bullseye? Two darts at tops. One at double ten. 39, going across 25. Double eight. Game shot on the 39. Mensur misses. Gary doesn't. 40 players carry the first round. Give on. Well, Master Anderson was jumping around. Gary. Controlling himself, composing himself. Again, Anderson throws for the title. Last time he had the in and out on the ball for the crown. It slipped from his head. 16. And this well, greatest of all World Match Play finals now is in the palm of Gary Anderson's hand. Two missed darts at double in the last leg by Mensah Sulevic. You can't blame him. Oh, 
<laughs> you can't blame him. You can't criticise either player. It's impossible. We've seen it all here tonight. It's all happening. Gary Anderson has six starts. 125 to become the world match play champion. 39 will leave 24. That's 50 left. He will return. Gary Anderson wants tops. Double ten. Yeah. Gary Anderson wins the marathon and the match play. He outlasts Mitsa Sulevich in the longest ever final to claim this crown for the very first time. He adds the match play to his world championship win. His Premier League wins to claim the last leg of the coveted Triple Crown in one of the greatest matches we've ever seen. But spare a thought for Mitsir Sulevic, who came so, so, so close in a match that will live long in the memory. Anderson wins 21 legs to 19.